Tacos, brah. Welcome back to Cliffy Land and our occasional US A to Z series where we, in addition to cooking the food of every country in the world, are cooking every state and territory in the US of A. And tonight we're up to California. California, the third largest state, located on the US West Coast. And unlike most states, it has both the food of the state and its own cuisine. Here's the deal. You have the cuisine of California, which is dishes that originated in California, and you have California. California cuisine, which is a foodie restaurant thing created by chefs in California that will normally focus on locally grown ingredients, fresh products, and all sorts of great tasty stuff. Sometimes you have both. In trying to decide what to do, we looked at a whole lot of different dishes, including some that originated in California, like the steak au jus, also known as the French dip, Caesar salad, and many more. But after much research, we decided to go with fish tacos. Fish tacos normally eaten by surfers along California's Pacific coast. We picked a particularly fresh recipe for it. Therefore, tonight, enjoy me trying to do fish tacos with a lime guacamole and a cabbage slaw. So, first, let's take a look at those ingredients. So, for our fish tacos, we will need two Haas avocados, halved, pitted, and peeled, a quarter cup of sour cream, one small jalapeno pepper, seeded and thinly sliced, two tablespoons of minced red onion, two tablespoons of chopped cilantro, five tablespoons of fresh lime juice, salt and pepper, one small head of Napa cabbage, Cabbage, shredded, two tablespoons of canola oil, two pounds of thick red snapper fillets with the skin, cut crosswise into ten two-inch wide strips, ten flour tortillas, two medium tomatoes thinly sliced, and hot sauce and lamb wedges for serving. Well, that does it. Let's get at it. First, in a medium bowl, mix the avocados, sour cream, jalapeno peppers, minced red onion, chopped cilantro, and three tablespoons of the lime juice. Mash everything together, season with salt and pepper, and mix together well. Cover with plastic wrap and press down tightly. Then pour canola oil over the cabbage. The remaining two tablespoons of lime juice, season with salt and pepper, and toss well. Season the fish with salt and pepper, brush with oil, then heat up the grill, and cook the fish for approximately 10 minutes. Take the fish off the grill, remove the skin from the fish, and begin to assemble the tacos. Plate the tortillas, place a dollop of guacamole on each tortilla, place a serving of the fish on top, place two tomato slices on top, spoon the cabbage over that, and repeat for the rest of the tacos. Serve with hot sauce and lime wedges on the side. Well, how'd it turn out? Well, they really were delicious. A really messy, I didn't have the right plating to go with it, but truly delicious. The recipe for the guacamole was outstanding and even worked really great in a sandwich the next day. Everything tasted really fresh and the fact that the snapper was grilled rather than fried made me feel a little better about it than the last few states we've done. So that does it for California. Remember, if you'd like to see the global A to Z cooking every Tuesday night, feel free to follow us on Periscope or Busker if you have any questions thoughts, feelings, or helpful suggestions about the food of California or any of our upcoming states or territories, let me know in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe to find out when any of these videos are posted, and tune in next time on our USA Disease series where we'll be cooking the food of Colorado. Thanks for watching and happy eating!